This test is like impossible. Okay, use the ideal gas constant, R. R? What is R? Hmm. Hey, I'm Nancy Drew and I'm here to help. I'm Chanel Sherlock. Materials you will need, a thousand millimeter beaker, a 10 millimeter graduate cylinder, a 50 millimeter gas collection or udiometer tube, two small pieces of magnesium ribbon, six molar hydrochloric acid, a meter stick, a plastic funnel which fits into the graduated cylinder, a thermometer, an electronic scale and weighing paper, small piece of string, and tap water. And don't forget to wear your goggles. Obtain a piece of weighing paper and place on scale. Set scale at zero. Then, obtain a piece of your magnesium ribbon and place on scale. Wait for it to settle and record the mass. Retrieve your magnesium ribbon and your piece of string and carefully make a knot around your magnesium ribbon, ensuring that it's secure. Now we're going to pour out the hydrochloric acid. Remember to do this under the hood. Place the plastic funnel over the 10 milliliter graduate cylinder and carefully pour out around 10 milliliters of the acid. Retrieve your 1000 milliliter beaker and fill it halfway with tap water. Place the plastic funnel into the udiometer tube and carefully pour in the hydrochloric acid. Then fill the rest of the tube with tap water. Slightly fold your piece of magnesium in half so that it could better fit into the mouth of the tube. Place your sample of magnesium with the attached string into the tube, ensuring that some of the string is still hanging out. Place your thumb securely over the mouth and quickly invert the tube into the beaker of water. Carefully hold down your tube to the bottom of the beaker throughout the entire reaction. Observe that the hydrochloric acid begins to flow toward the bottom of the tube due to differences in density. HCl will oxidize the magnesium metal and oxygen gas will be released. The solution inside the tube will begin to bubble. Equilibrium is reached when the bubbling stops. After equilibrium has been reached, measure and record the height of the water inside the tube. Record the temperature of the water in the beaker, which is assumed to be equal to the temperature of the gas. Conduct two trials. Research the vapor pressure that corresponds to the temperature recorded. Ask your teacher for the barometric pressure. I know the answer now.